blows out would keep it alive in our spirits, right? Yeah. yeah. Will you stand as you are able? I am resurrection and I am life, says the Lord. Whoever has faith in me shall have life, even though he die. And everyone who has life and has committed himself to me in faith shall not die forever. As for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, and that at the last he will stand upon the earth. After my awaking, he will raise me up, and in my body I shall see God. I myself shall see, and my eyes behold him who is my friend and not a stranger. For none of us has life in himself, and none becomes his own master when he dies. For if we have life, we are alive in the Lord, and if we die, we die in the Lord. So then whether we live or die, we are the Lord's possession. Happy from now on are those who die in the Lord. And so it is, says the Spirit, for they rest from their labors. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God of grace and glory, we remember before you this day our sister Carol Joy. We thank you for giving her to us, her family and friends, to know and to love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage. And your boundless compassion console us who mourn, give us faith to see in death the gate of eternal life, and in quiet confidence we may continue our course on earth until by your call we are reunited with those who have gone before. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 This is the first reading, Lamentations. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion says my soul, therefore I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. It is the good that one should wait 